Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Despite the fact that Southwest Saskatchewan has experienced ongoing rain and cool conditions over the past several weeks, warmer air is on the horizon. Cool, rainy conditions combined with localized frost have all attributed to harvest being behind schedule across Saskatchewan. The lobby, conference rooms, and the parking lot of the Cypress Regional Hospital were filled with a range of kiosks and demonstrations during the annual Safety Expo. Thanks for joining us here today. Well, as we make our way through the middle of September, Environment Canada is offering up this autumn weather forecast. Autumn is generally a colorful transition as the seasons change. And as we bask in the array of often breathtaking landscapes, mild temperatures are also something many look forward to. And despite the fact that southwest Saskatchewan has experienced ongoing rain and cool conditions over the past several weeks, warmer air is on the horizon. And uh, while temperatures have been, uh, certainly in August, they were kind of near normal and, and uh, of, uh, harvest had begun a little slower, but boy, there was a lot of rain. And in, in August and September so far, you've had three times the amount of rain you normally would have. Now, daytime temperatures are going to warm up. I mean, we're going to see these temperatures that are going to be 20, 21, 26, 23 degrees. And our two-week forecast is showing warmer than normal and also drier than normal. So my sense is this is a crucial time. There's been some quality suffering because of the frost and, and clearly the wet weather. But I, I think temperatures at night are going to get down to the single digits, but they're going to be like 5, 7 degrees, 9 degrees at night, and those 20s during the day with lots of sunshine. And as far as the long-term weather outlook, Philip says a typical autumn forecast is in the works. It's certainly when we issued our forecast around around um, Labor Day, and I haven't had a chance to see if there's any revision. I don't think there has been. Um, we called for the early part of September to be a little cooler than normal. Uh, but the period September-October looking like in some parts of the province a little milder than normal in the north and in the south, southwest, maybe near normal. So my sense is it's unfolding like we said it would. The seasonal high for this time of year in southwest Saskatchewan is 19, with an overnight low of 5. Ongoing cool and rainy conditions across the province have affected the 2014 harvest. And in this report, we find out how we rank against the five-year average. Cool, rainy conditions combined with localized frost have all attributed to harvest being behind schedule across Saskatchewan. And for areas such as the southwest that still lead the way with the most acres off the field, producers in this region are still behind from previous years. We are probably anywhere from a couple of days to maybe 10 to 14 days, all depending where you are. And of course, when you were able to seed and how much moisture you've gotten lately. Uh, but overall, you know, the, the southwest would normally be approaching maybe 40 or 50 percent uh, complete. So we are half of that. And as we move through the middle of September, producers will be hoping for warm, dry weather conditions to salvage the yields on the 2014 crop as many fields have already been hit by frost and bleached crop kernels. We may not see um, as high of quality as we maybe were looking at a couple of weeks ago prior to the rain. Um, but overall, you know, we should be able to get back out there and get the crop off and, and whatnot. It may just be a very long, dragged out process. The short-term forecast for southwest Saskatchewan is calling for sunshine and temperatures in the 20-degree range. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Promoting safety was the focus of a two-day expo at the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current. We bring you the highlights in this report. 
The lobby, conference rooms, and the parking lot of the Cypress Regional Hospital were filled with a range of kiosks and demonstrations during the annual Safety Expo. The event is hosted each year by the Cypress Health Region and welcomes residents and staff to view the many displays. We're very um, focused on patient and staff safety and a lot of the programs that we do um, offer our employees are preventative uh, measures uh, to protect them as well as our patients. The expo included real-life scenarios, including this reenactment of a texting and driving accident. As students from the Shonovan High School looked on, St. John ambulance reps went through the scenario of attending to the mock accident victim a scene which is becoming too common on roadways. That there's one in four acts fatalities on the highway or roads is due to distracted driving. And most of the distracted driving is because of texting. And just reaching for that phone and checking it for your text, next text. But you really don't want it to be your last thing that you say in your life. So don't text and drive. Another unique exhibit at the expo was the STARS Mobile Education Unit. This motorhome-style medical training facility on wheels travels across the province, with STARS personnel training medical reps on emergency care on-site in their own communities. Real-world scenarios, which flight paramedic John Antle indicates can mean the difference between life and death. This is a human patient simulator, so the mannequin is able to inhale oxygen, exhale carbon dioxide. Any medical procedure that we would uh, typically do in the helicopter or in a rural hospital that we can do on stand, so we can put in a breathing tube or intubate them, we can start IVs, we can give them medications, we can shock his heart, uh, we can do some surgical procedures on him, whatever that we need to do to get that training out there we can do in, inside this bus. 2014 marked the third consecutive year for the Cypress Health Region Safety Expo, bringing together members of the community and healthcare professionals. In the town before there was two different clinics, working out of two different separate buildings. So having that all under one roof, it's all, it's all a benefit to the patient. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.